In the last episode of Sailing Bagheera, we sailed from Great Keppel Island back to the Boyne River. We did some initial groundwork for our new mooring. We played the tourist and went to Lake Awonga Dam. And then we moved into Gladstone Marina in anticipation of anti-fouling and getting our sail drive serviced. That's an extendable hydraulic lift cushioned on pads filled with air. Pat's positioned those pads under at least four bulkheads of Bagheera. And now Bagheera is getting lifted out. Once she's lifted enough, it's off to the wash bay. Before setting Bagheera down on blocks, Pat gives me a chance to clean underneath the keels. The anti fouling's held up pretty well. Bagheera doesn't look too bad. Although we have beached her about four times to clean up, it's definitely time for new anti -fouling. Side of the boat that's been up against a, a jetty for a while, so I'd say a bit of extra growth on it. Are you having fun with your um, board blasting, Murray? Yeah, bring it back memories. Good memories, eh? In his previous life, he used to do this partly for a job on houses, though.
day two and we start the sanding. This isn't a job for the faint hearted. In fact, it almost took us two days to complete. We're using 40 grit sandpaper. Every 15 minutes or so, we're changing sheets. It's a very grubby job. One hole hopefully finished, sanding. We ended up taping just so the uh, sanding's not going to go over the flow coat. I quite like it with the green stripe on. We're just having lunch. Um, Cheryl hopped on the sander while I'm having lunch. And now she's complaining I'm taking far too long eating. So um, let's go see what she's doing. This is Murray at the end of the day, looking um, pretty, pretty, pretty gross. Yeah. Joys of having a boat. I mean, we still haven't quite finished, but it's close. One more side to do on the other side. This is Cheryl and my first go at anti-fouling. We're doing this under the supervision of Brett from Ship and Sail who's coming along and give us tips and helping us out with information. So now we've completed the sanding to Brett's satisfaction. I've just applied the primer. So we finished all the sanding and the prepping. Murray's got a bit carried away with the primer and um, <laughs> we're about to start the binding agent today. Yeah, sand is about to die, but it's on its last legs. Spent a lot of time with a funny product called Chip Shape to remove all the stain that was on the side. So while I was priming and sanding, Cheryl was busy scrubbing. All right, putting the binding agent on. And here's a sight you don't often see, Cheryl grovelling on the ground. <laughs> this boating life is not at all flash. <laughs> yeah, you keep saying that. Yeah, I know. It's a week's work for a life of glamour, Cheryl. Very glamorous. Yeah, so now we're just applying a primer, uh, not a primer, a uh, binder. So everything is going to stick to whatever we've got on there at the moment. You want to say something? Yeah, she looks too nice to um, cover it up with anti-fill now. Certainly looks better than it did look. That's our anti-fill. We've finished one coat of the anti-fowl and we've given it a couple of hours to dry, probably longer than it needs because uh, we just had so many visitors come through. So now Cheryl and I are going to try and put on the final coat of anti-fowl before it gets too dark and hopefully the weather doesn't ruin our parade. Murray's just a wee bit tired. Big day for Murray. Be fine if it wasn't raining. Right. Rain's cleared up. We just begin it's gonna rain again and we won't get to do our second coat. So time to pack up and go and have a shower. So we finished our second coat of antifoul today. We had to delay it a bit because it rained late yesterday. Looking pretty good now. I haven't taken the masking tape off yet, but...
Yes, we've finished the hull anti-fouling, but we've still got the sail drives to go. We're just waiting on the repairs to be completed. And then we'll anti-foul those with a different type of anti-foul because they're made from aluminium and not fiberglass like the rest of the boat. <laughs> Had to do this photo to show my face with all the black anti-foul all over it. <laughs> oh, it's a joy. We're finished. Finish this part anyway. Tell us what the product is you've got. Uh, yes, I don't know. It's 3M Finesse it. Machine polish. Very expensive. $150 a bottle. Mm. Are you going to have enough? Yeah, plenty. Good. <laughs> don't want to run out and have to buy another one. So what do you do? You rub it on? Yes, you rub it on, let it dry, and buff it off. This is our and a polisher that we got from Bunnings yesterday. While Cheryl was shopping at Bunnings, I removed the masking tape, gave the sail drives their first coat of anti-foul. On our boat we have these decals of a black Animated panther being Bagheera out of the Jungle Book story. Cheryl doesn't like it, so she's going to remove it. This is after a fair bit of acetone and scraping. Still a yellow tinge underneath and a rough surface. I'm not sure whether it's been painted over or whether, I'm pretty sure it's not the sticker still there. I'm gonna try some ship shape, see if I can whiten that up a bit. As good as it gets. No more Bagheera cartoon character on the side of our boat. With the immense difficulty of winch Murray up the mast, very, very difficult to do. It's up there now. Supposedly trying to install our new booster. I had no idea what I was doing up there, but more on that in the next episode. I really only went up the mast to have a look to see how easy or difficult the job would be. Okay, here we are. We're having sundowners on Kuiana. Now, we've read Kuiana a couple of times up at Cairns. This is the first time basically on their boat, for the viewers at least. So there's Kaz and Cheers. Hamish. Thank you for having us. And there's a couple of rug wraps somewhere. Are oh, they? They found friends, are they? It was really nice of Kaz and Hamish to invite us over for relaxing sundowners. Just what we needed after the hard week Sharon and I have had. He's just about to cart you down the boat. We're finished. Just trying to get it cleaned up. Clean all the dust off and the dirt. Ready to go back in the water this afternoon. We're just about to start putting Bagheera back in the water. Been a long week.
special thanks goes to uh, Michael, Pat and Brett from Gladstone Ship and Sail. Thanks guys, we appreciate all your help you've given us. Also I mentioned to Rob from RC Marine for your help and support. And that's where we leave this episode's adventure. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel and feel free to make comments. Your feedback motivates Cheryl and I to continue making these videos and improves our YouTube rankings. Share the video with friends and family. See you next episode as we continue our adventure. In the next episode, we go to Lady Musgrave Island and witness baby turtles hatching.